Frank Gas. We at the um, Gas House. Get an all star, man. This is a shop, man. We wholesale, man. Every, basically everything run through here, run through the city. You gotta bring your stuff to these type of shops. Just because this is the streets. You know, you got the internet, you got everything else, but this another avenue, this is streets. You wanna get your record broke? You gotta start at the streets, basically. Like DJs too, you gotta start with these shops. That's how you build your name up, you know. I'm Frank Gas, I'm an artist, producer, everything, engineer, I do everything, you know. Right on here in the West End, you know, we open seven days a week, you know. That's just what it's all about in these shops. Hey man, y'all already know, world famous DJ Cutthroat. I wanna start off and give a shout out to DJs of Atlanta, man. We got the documentary, we got the film, the web of soul. However you get this, man, you gotta know DJs of Atlanta, DJs in the streets. The one that control the music. Yeah, it's the DJ, man. DJ Cutthroat. I love my plug, plug DJs. I'm going to go ahead and break it down for you real quick. They, they told me to spit a little bit about the DJ game and how the artists can break into the industry, man. You know what I'm saying? First of all, the number one thing is networking. You know what I'm saying? It's all about who you know, and more importantly, it's about who know you. You know what I'm saying? So however you brand yourself and get yourself out there, that's the most important thing. You know what I'm saying? Meeting these folks, meeting these DJs. So when you are in these streets and you're trying to move your product, you got some type of network and some type of net worth to move your product and your content with. You know what I'm saying? The next thing, if you can make a visual every day, put out a different visual every day, no matter what the platform be. Like I said, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, WorldSaw, whatever you do, man, you need to get a visual out there every day. You know what I'm saying? Um, outside the visuals and the network, you know what I'm saying? Content is key. Always record. Keep bringing out music. You know what I'm saying? The way these other cats been moving, like Future and Gucci Man in the past with speeding up the process which music is released, they made the platform and they made the format of music a whole lot faster. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So if you ain't putting out music on the regular, you're really behind. You know what I'm saying? Really? That's probably the three most important things I can tell you, man. It's about your network, it's about your visuals, and it's about putting out content on the on a consistent basis, you know what I'm saying? If you do those three things right there, you're guaranteed to have some type of success. And you know what I'm saying? Stay down till you come up, my nigga. It ain't gonna happen overnight, I'm letting you know. It's a possibility, but it's not like it, you know what I'm saying? So just keep working, and we see DJ Cut throwing in the streets, holla at you, holla at me. I love my plug.com, plug DJs, DJ Cut throw, man, stay plugged in. I go by the name of DJ Brad, and uh, I represent for the League of Doom DJs, you know, and we kind of was responsible for this whole Dirty South movement from day one, from even before Goody Mob hit the, the streets with the Dirty South movement, we was part of the reason that they was even cultivated to make it to the level that they was at. The first thing you got to do as an artist, man, you got to define your fan base, and you got to make sure that the music that you're ready to bring to the world, you got you got to know who your who your target audience is, who you want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's all kind of different genres of music in Atlanta. Atlanta is not just about hip hop and southern rap. It's R&B. All the, the the markets of music are here in Atlanta right now. So so you got to find your you got to find your audience. You know what I'm saying? And once you do that. And DJs can help you, you know what I'm saying? Once you get with the right DJs and you get it go, like everything don't have to go through the club either. You know what I'm saying? So don't just run to the club with your record because you might get shot down and you throw a good record to the side because it wasn't good, for, it didn't fit that DJ for a man. But that don't mean it's not a record that could reach the masses and blow you up. You know what I'm saying? You gotta set a standard and a status for who you are and what kind of artist you are. Because that's where what level of respect. You gotta tell them who you are. You can't wait on them to tell you. You gotta tell the audience, this is what I am, this is I'm up here. I'm not down, I'm not these little cats. I'm a big dog and I'm a big fish in a small pond and this is how I get out and look at me and listen to what I say. You know what I'm saying? You gotta 
the man that respect, and you gotta brand yourself like that. It's gotta be more about you than it is about your song. And if, if it's not, then you lose it. Out the gate. I guess I'm gonna give y'all some advice. You know, a lot of people uh, know me from seeing me on Rap City or um, that show that's come on back in the day, 106 in Park, uh, doing the Rockaway campaign with like Chris Brown and Sierra and all the rest of them. Well, I was the DJ um, in that campaign. Uh, a lot of people know me from starting the Hood Hard DJs, DJ Coalition, and breaking artists like VIC and Young LA and, you know, things like that. Um, uh, I found K Stylist, uh, also do a little production. Um, Big Boy for Outcast, y'all probably heard that uh, Vicious Lies, Dangerous Rumors. Track number five in the A with uh, T.I. and uh, Luda. Video on YouTube right now. You can check that track out, Black on Seabone, what's happening. Mm -hmm. Now, do know this is a guideline. This is not a do this, you know. This is a guideline, you know. So listen to everything I'm telling you, but don't listen to nothing I'm telling you. Do both at the same time, you know. Um, I, I, I can tell you that if you do work hard, you, if you work hard, any artist, you know, um, if you work hard, it is going to happen. Um, do know what you want. I know a lot of artists that do music and they don't even know how much money they want for a show. That's the first thing you should look. You should know how much money you want. You know what I'm saying? Something. But, you know, um, just just do it. Put in a lot of work. And work don't mean just going in the studio. Work means... Like marketing yourself, promoting yourself, letting people know who you are everywhere, every chance you get. Uh, one great point of thing, one great point is uh, try to keep your fan base younger. Um, so make sure younger people know who you are. And if you do that, you will never get old. Um, artists ask me all the time, how can I get on the radio? I tell artists all the time, the easiest way to get on the radio is to not try to get on the radio. Now, it's two ways, it's, it's a couple of ways. I look at, you know, breaking artists and breaking music. It's just like taking a trip to New York. You can go to New York by plane, or you can go by bus, or you can go by car, or you can go by skateboard, or you can walk. All those ways you're gonna go, you're gonna get there. You, some ways a little easier than others. It applies the same way with, with music, you know. Um, you can go straight to the top, be popping on TV and radio and everything tomorrow. You just got to have a little check behind you. You know, when the last time you seen a Rolls Royce commercial? <laughs> but evidently they selling. <laughs> so if you got a product that's fire, people are going to find you. Um, the DJs that's coming in the game, I, I would say uh, you definitely want to learn how to mix. Blend records before, learn how to scratch first, blend, I mean blend first, scratch second. You don't never hear mix shows on the radio, DJ scratching. You know, so learn how to mix first, uh, scratch second, and just work on your brand. And it don't happen overnight. A lot of people think a lot of artists that have been popping, they got popping in a week, or they got popping in a year. Man, ask Freddie Wap how long he been pushing Trap Queen. Like, how long he really been pushing Trap Queen. You know what I'm saying? So. It, it, you know, D, even DJs, you know, a lot of new DJs look at DJs and be like, oh, man, I want to I wanna be the mixtape king like DJ Holiday or DJ Drama. Man, you don't know, man. I was in college watching, getting Bahamadia CDs and watching Bahamadia, listening, looking at Three the Hard Way. That was, that's who Drama was rocking with then. You know what I'm saying? So don't think you can do what somebody else took years to do. We so stupid that you can do it in a week. Every now and then you have an artist will put out a record and something will happen and they'll jump off overnight. Or every now and then a DJ will end up in a good situation and it look like they jumped off overnight. But please don't base your career off of this. Um, uh, let's see, one real good thing. Artists, make sure y'all get this book. Uh, the, the Music Business by Donald Passman. Just search Donald Passman get the newest edition. You know, I, I talk to a million artists. I mean, I literally talk to them, you know, hour-long conversation, and they don't even have publishing. That means if your record jump on the radio and go stupid, and then they get used for a movie in Japan, and they sell 400 billion, dollars, 400 billion copies of the movie, you won't make a dollar. Because you ain't even got your publishing taken care of, you know. So 
the music business is a business. That's why they call it the music business. It's not the music hobby. A lot of a lot of time, the idiots that you see are a lot smarter than you think. Some of the artists that you see, you don't know they have college degrees or 4.0, you know, high school and things like that. They not. You, you can't be an idiot and do it in this business. So sometimes it might be a little bit going on. Sometimes you can have a good team too, though. But um, it's hard to be an idiot and you 